A public regulation commission foul up means trouble for the green cab company. The New Mexico State Supreme Court has ruled the PRC failed to follow the state law when it allowed green cab company to open up in Albuquerque. For the past two years, it has been business as usual, but now the green cab company's future is hazy. In 2011, two other cab companies wanted to block green cab from opening. They filed a protest with the PRC saying another cab company in town could put them out of business. But the PRC never allowed a hearing about this, and Green Cab opened. At the time, the commission didn't believe that Yellow Cab, the intervener in this case, had made a strong enough um, case for itself in terms of, of showing why another cab company, uh, why, why there was no public need for another cab company. So now the process starts all over. Green Cab has to apply for a certificate to operate, and the competing taxis have to prove there is no need for a third cab company in Albuquerque. Well, you may want to write down the number of all those three taxis down if you are planning in to ring in the new year tonight with a toast or two. New Mexico State Police and officers from every other law enforcement agency are stepping up their DWI enforcement. So unless you want to ring in the new year in handcuffs, just know officers will be out in full force. They'll basically be everywhere patrolling the highways and roads, enforcing DWI and other traffic laws. In Bernalillo County, free ride homes this year for New Year's Eve is being offered by Tavern Taxi. The taxi basically picks you up from the bar and takes you home at no charge. The county picks up the tab for the ride. It runs from 10 to night through 3 in the morning. Just ask your bartender to call. And partiers in Santa Fe County can take advantage of the $1 cab ride home tonight. It's subsidized by the county, which will pay cab fares of up to $25. Anything over that has to be subsidized by the rider. Now, the number to call is 438-0000. And again, you can ask your bartender or server to make the call for you. Well, the Secretary of the Children, Youth and Families Department says the state was not currently investigating a mother now charged with killing her nine-year-old son in Albuquerque. Criminal complaint says CYFD was investigating the family. Omari Varela of the Mar Omari Varela after the boy allegedly threatened to hurt himself and said he was being abused in the past. Last night, CYFD Secretary Yolanda Dines released a statement saying, quote, CYFD had no active case with this family at the time of the incident. The state says it cannot comment any more about this case. Omari's mother, Cynthia Varela Casaus, is accused of kicking the boy to death on Sunday at their home on Comanche Northeast near San Mateo. In court, she even tried to bargain her way out of a $100,000 cash bond the judge set, claiming she was going to have brain surgery. Look at this. Is there any way I can ask if they get anywhere at least lower my bond a little bit? That way I can make sure I get my surgery because they're not even giving me my medication in here. And if it's, I mean, I can't pay 100000 but I could pay like 75000 or 50000 cash, 80, 70000 75000 cash, 80000 cash. Well, the judge ended up keeping the bond at $100,000 cash, and Varela Casaus is still in jail this morning. Well, the woman who got just probation for seriously hurting a six-year-old girl with her car in Albuquerque a few years ago is now facing new charges. There are no words. I can explain how deeply sorry that I am that this tragic accident happened. Well, that was Mallory Chavez apologizing in court after she was driving without a license and hit Caitlin Ford as she crossed the street on West Side in 2009. Well, Chavez got three years probation for it. Well, now she's been arrested again, this time for not going to court for another traffic violation. On August 9th, police say Chavez was speeding near Led and Edith with her kids in the car and ignored an officer yelling at her to stop even after he stepped onto the street. And when she finally did pull over, Chavez claimed her kids had the radio too loud. A 23-year-old woman is now facing a murder charge accused of killing the man found lying in the middle of a road in Rio Rancho last weekend. Police arrested this woman, Amanda Jo Lucero, after they say she admitted to shooting Andrew Anderson after a fight on Saturday. Anderson was found lying in the middle of Highway 528 and died at the hospital. Lucero told detectives Anderson stole things from her, so she and some others confronted him with a loaded gun, and at one point Lucero pulled the trigger. Also arrested in connection with the murder are these two, Emily Lucero and John Cerna. Well, two jailbreaks sparked security to step up at the Roosevelt County Detention Center. 
During both escapes in June and September, inmates managed to bust out through the roof using a, a bed leg. The jail is now getting a new roof and a razor wire will be installed to the line to the new roof. The money to pay the improvements comes from a fund for housing inmates from other counties. Testimony to how indifferent people have become to the plight of another. Surveillance video here shows people coming in and out of a store. Get this, stepping over a man who had just been shot to death. We're going to show you more of this video coming up in our next half hour. Find out where this has happened and hear from the dead man's mother.